Hi, Kim Sullivan from Summit will be in here today, and I would like to show you guys this historic property. It's four rooms, and it's right on the outskirts of East Bond, mostly modernized. Let's turn the camera around. Let's check it out. All right, so I turn the camera around. This right here is our front entrance. Like I said, this is the historically protected property. So we come in this way and then we are greeted by this lovely hall here that kind of leads out to all of our other rooms so let's go ahead and start with the room over here the nice thing about these german old bills is that they were kind of made that you could interchange the rooms so this can be your dining room it can also be your bedroom the last tenant had as a bedroom so right now just give you a heads up these are single paned windows but these will be modernized with a double pane so here we kind of have a door and door because here we've already modernized the door so we have the double paned in front of the single paned so and that leads out to a balcony so but we have we have wooden floors so this is very nice German old building like i said this is historically protected we do have here these doors in between just give kind of an idea what that looks like. All right, so that pulls out of both sides. This will lead us back to the hallway, but technically we can kind of run circles with this property and in between the rooms. So this room we kind of dub, I think it was maybe a good guest space, maybe a good office space. And now it's kind of centrally located. Um, this one is the closest to our kitchen. Kind of looks like there might have been a door at one point in there, but on the other side of that wall is our bathroom. So. Oh, and this one does have a kind of fun ceiling. So we do have a wood, wooden paneling ceiling. So, and then check out our bathroom. So like I said, our bathroom's been modernized. Towel heater. Shower there in the back with little cubbies here to the side. You can kind of store your shower shower stuff. Double sink. Oh, I probably should turn on the second lights. We do have additional lights right in there. It's a nice little spot. And then that was our front entrance again. So we do have a separate toilet area. And then near the kitchen. So, fun thing about these old properties is a lot of times they have a room like this. And this is kind of like a pantry, um, but it's the old style, old fashioned fridges. So it has a hole to the outside. And this is, this is I, I'm guessing this is a marble plate. And it's really kind of, it's a few degrees colder than the rest of the, the room, uh, which is kind of, kind of nice. So, this kitchen does have all of the modernizations that we expect it to have. Yeah, dishwasher, hidden washing machine. Also here our fridge and freezer. So, and then here we have access to our garden. So this garden space, I think will make a really nice space to put out some, some lawn furniture. And we have a little seating area out here. So, and up there, that would lead to our garage. So actually, it's not really a garage, it's more like a carport. Um, that would be a little idea. So, and then like I said, we are about five minutes walking distance from, from respawn. Eh, nah, make it seven, depending on how you walk. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, I enjoyed making it and yeah. I wish everyone a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Nope, it is not time to get going. I forgot to point out one feature right there. Do you see that? You see that right there? Oh, oh, yeah. Storage. There's also basement storage here. Let's go show you that real quick before we end the video. All right, real quick before we end this video, let's check out the creepy basement that comes included with it. People, this is this is the Vespawn area, okay? Vespawn stands for bathing in the meadows. That's what the original name came from. Visa is meadows, Bottom is bathing. So it was bathing in the meadows because of all of the underground water streams that are going on here, all right? So the Romans, they used to bathe in, in you know, on the fields because there's just so much just 
underground water. So almost any basement that is over 100 years old in this country, or at least in this area, I should say, is not dry. And so you have a certain level of moisture that's great for wine, bad for furniture. So, but I just, I love it. This is the perfect wine basement and it just has so much character. You know, it's just, it just has so much character. It just, it's creepy and it's creepy. And I just love it because it's spooky. <laughs> oh. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video.